Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to the Behind the Scenes channel here on Smarter Every Day. This is Prince Rupert. He is a cat, and um, he's pretty fun to have around. He kind of hates me, though. But one thing that we were doing recently is we had this little string on a stick. I'm going to let you down, Prince Rupert. And uh, we noticed that we could get the whip popping effect to happen just with this. Listen. Hear that? So because of the stuff you see in this video, I kind of understand what's going on now. This is a little piece of string that's breaking the sound barrier. So what you're going to see is some behind the scenes footage of myself and a bunch of researchers helping me. There's April Choi, who's going to be operating the whip. There's my doctoral advisor, Dr. Kavan Hazeli. There's Dr. Kanistras, who is an aerodynamicist, and a couple of researchers, uh, Madhu and Shreyas, who are operating the Atom Lab, which is an, I think it's called Autonomous Tracking and Optical Measurements Lab at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. So we're all there and we're working on trying to figure out how a whip works. It's a really interesting video, just behind the scenes, kind of a lax video. Uh, no real storyline here, just let you see exactly what we're doing. So I hope you enjoy this and uh, I'll see you on the back side of the footage. Using the tension, that's where the shock wave happens and then it goes relaxed again. Yeah. Is he comfortable wearing a glove or? Are you comfortable wearing a glove with the market? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's do that. Uh, this is what we're That's going to work. It's a game monster. Is it the special one? Oh, it's a good one. We have a tried my best, but it's not exactly. Okay, so it's. So I don't want to touch the last bit of adhesive, so I'm trying to make sure that it stays on there. And then, once I get it round on... Where's, where's the... Where's the filler bar? Okay. Thirteen fifty. Thirteen fifty. Thirteen forty seven. You're very good on camera, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot now. Twelve seventeen. Yeah, so we're gonna make a data sheet. So either you can do that. Let's see if he remove all that stuff. Can you put one long scale? One. Because like you'd get the summation of chunk it. Yeah. <coughs> okay, that's the best we can go. Three, two. One, go! Three, two, one, go! That pretty good. Maybe a smidge long. Go! Go! No, or this is the camera. That's the mirror. The, yeah. Yeah, that's the mirror. So the whip's coming up towards the mirror. And it's moving through, straightening out. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then <laughs> some random. Yeah, probably tip. That's yes. awesome. Is that awesome? Yes. Perfect. Sure. Okay. So we're tracking right here on the whip. So you can see. This is the last tracking point right here. 
but the end of the whip is right here. So the idea is for me to get all the data from there to there with the high-speed camera and Schlieren right here. So basically we're using the Atom Lab trackers to get the whole whip dynamics, but I'm getting the last eight inches or so with my Schlieren setup, but the hard part is calibrating that in both time and position. So what we've done is we've got these three little tracking balls on the mirror here. And because we can measure those tracking balls in three-dimensional space, you can average those out and get the center of the mirror, but that also gives you a plane from which you can measure things that are orthogonal to it. It all makes sense, I promise. So the question is, the 3D tracking cameras are tracking at 500 frames per second. I was measuring with the Schlieren at 35,000 frames per second. So I'm recording events that are happening in between those, those, those two images right there. And that's important because we're operating on two different time scales. It's weird because the three-dimensional trackers get better spatial resolution, but we get better temporal resolution with the slow-mo camera. <laughs> I think that it's just that spot where we missed that might be that it goes super slow. Which is the whole point of the high-speed camera yeah. and the Schlieren. The whole point of the Schlieren is to get what he's missing right here. The gap in my data is spatial. I'm not going to get any of this. I'm not going to get any of that. And the gap in your data is temporal. Mm -hmm. Right, yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the point, yeah. But with our powers combined, <laughs> we're going to track a, a whip. It's right. going. But I think. But so, so, what we're doing now is analysis. What we should do is just catch more exactly. data. Let's yeah, yeah. Okay. One. One, two, three, go. I think so. I don't, I can't tell the distance. My depth perceptor is not that good. So you guys have a better chance of looking at distance. Ooh. So I, I need to angle it down as well. So I need to bring my arm up and then shoot down. This car. Yeah, so. Oh, so, uh, so close. Yeah. yeah. So Two, three, go. Almost there. It's 
see if I was... Not quite a crack, but it was something. Huh. Do you just have a big enough sphere? <laughs> there it is. She's right there. So there's nothing there. And then there, you can see a normal shock developing, but no bow shock. Huh. Oh! Yep, yep. very light. Yep. Super light. This there. This there. Two, three, go! There you go. There you go. Yep. There you go. <laughs> very, very common bash up this time. See, the moment we have this separation of the surfaces, we have the shock wave development. That's a good one, April. Yeah, yeah I'll flatten it out a little. Right? Phenomenal. This is beautiful. It's done slow. So you're right, you're having that right there. That's the wake, but mm -hmm, the wake now it's stuck for me. You see that you see? for me? The moment, yeah, it's the right moment you have the separation of surfaces, you have the shock. Yeah. What? Okay, so I don't really know what's going on here, but Dr. Hazeli and uh, Dr. Connie Strauss want to, want to, I don't know. What, we're we're going to try this ball? What's the idea? So what's the idea? The idea is that we have a geometry that we can recognize. It's a bluff body now, and we're going to see the ball formation uh, around that ball. And so the idea is, if we can get it to the right velocity, we know what that shape should do. That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're in danger. All right, here we go. We're going to have a bullet, like a literal bullet. Good luck. Thumbs up. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. That's terrifying. If you, there is, you see it, right? It's obvious. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it's smaller, right? Smaller. So it's exactly so, what's so happening. So the question is why I'm not going to um, having the sonic boom here. Because the surface is smaller. So it's right? Smaller. It's still there, but it is, the thickness is smaller. Six point eight. I would go. Six point eight millimeters. Six seventy eight to be exact. Okay. Okay. This card. One, two, three, go. It go. That's gonna be the one. Oh. Oh my god, this is the best. This is the best. Go back and see the curve now. Let's go. Go!
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes episode here on Smarter Every Day. Um, I really like doing videos like this where you get to see all the data and all the nitty gritty details of how we're doing the research. Anyway, if you'd like to subscribe to this, the second channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. Feel free to do that. If not, no big deal. I'm Destin. You are getting smarter every day. Have a good one. Prince Rupert, you want to say bye? Say bye. Meow. Right here. Look right here. Meow. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.